All right, guys, uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, graphing parent functions and horizontal translations. We previously looked at vertical uh, translations, so now we're going to do horizontal. The parent functions we're going to be working with today are the same as the ones um, we used for vertical translations. So f of x equals x, uh, f of x equals x squared, f of x equals x cubed, f of x equals the square root of x, and f of x equals absolute value of x. Uh, so this is what we're going to be working with today. Again, parent functions are the most basic form of their graphs. So parent functions uh, will always have the same shape. Um, the Their translations or the way their graphs move, they'll be in a different spot, but they'll have the exact same shape as their parent function because that's where they come from. So today we're talking about horizontal translations, um, and they move or shift the graph of the parent function left or right. So our parent function is f of x equals x squared. To shift this uh, to the right, it's f of x equals x minus k squared. All right. And then to sh shift it to the left, it is f of x equals uh, x plus k squared. Okay, so it's kind of the opposite of what you would think. Uh, to move something to the right, you need to have that uh, minus sign. And to move it to the left, you have to have the plus sign. Okay, um, it is. It has to be basically the opposite of what you would think it would be. Okay, so don't get hung up on that. Just know that if you see a minus in the parentheses, you're going to the right. If you see a plus in the parentheses, you're going to the left. Okay, it has to be the opposite of what you would normally think. Normally, we see the plus sign, we think we're going to the right. We see the subtraction sign, we're going to the left, but that's not the case here. So in this example, we're going to graph f of x equals x squared, f of x equals x plus 2, and f of x equals x minus 2 on the same coordinate plane. Uh, I'm going to start out with the parent function. Oops, not with the highlighter. f of x equals x squared. So remember, f of x equals x squared always starts at the origin, and it's a u-shape. It's a parabola, okay? So it's going to be going in the positive direction, and it's going to be u-shaped as best you can. I know there's some swivels there. Sorry if you can hear the airplane going over. It should pass in like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. But that is the graph of our parent function. Now what we're going to do is shift to the right. I'm just going to say shift R, so I don't have to keep writing out right. Uh, to shift to the right, that's f of x equals uh, x minus 2 squared. Okay, so we're shifting to the right means we're shifting to the right two units. So from the dot, I would go two units to the right. This is now where my dot is. I'm going to draw my parabola. I'm going to make sure that I label. And I'm going to call it a day. I did not label my parent function, and I definitely need to do that. One second. Okay. Now we're going to shift to the left. Okay, so shift L, we have f of x equals x plus 2 squared. So 1, 2 to the left. This is now where my dot is. We're going up. We're going up. Okay, and we're going to label. Okay, let's take a look at two more examples. Our next example is f of x equals x cubed, f of x equals x plus 2 cubed, and f of x equals x minus 2 cubed. So we're going to start it off with the parent function, which is f of x equals x cubed. Remember, it always crosses through the origin, and then we have that like sideways z look, kind of like a squiggle. There we go. All right, 
Now we're going to look at shifting to the right. So we have f of x equals x minus 2 cubed. So we're going to go 2 units to the right. That's where our dot's going to be. And then just the same basic shape as best we can. Okay, and we're going to label. Now we're going to go to the left. We have f of x equals x plus 2 cubed. So we're going to the left. Again, we see plus, we think right, but remember, it's the opposite. Okay? So one, two spaces from the black dot. This is now where my new center is, or my new... Uh, origin, I guess, if you will, or transition point, ver uh, vertex, vertice, that's where the new one is. Uh, and then we're going to do the same basic shape. And we have to label f of x equals x plus 2 cubed. All right, last example. Our parent function is f of x equals the square root of x. And again, that starts at the origin. And then it's like a half of a u, but it's flipped on its side. Ooh, let's undo that. There we go. Much better. So f of x equals the square root of x. Then we're going to shift it to the right. f of x equals the square root of x minus 2. Notice the minus 2 is inside the square root. If it was outside the square root, that would mean that we were shifting it down 2. But it, because it's inside the square root, it means we're moving it to the right. So from the black dot, we're going to go two units to the right. One, two. I'm going to draw my little dot, and I'm going to copy that same shape. Okay. Then we're going to label... And then we're going to go to the left. We have f of x equals the square root of x plus 2. So I'm going to go two units to the left from the black dot. This is where my new dot's going to be. And then I'm going to just copy that same basic shape. Boom. We're going to label. And call it a day. All right, guys, that is how you do horizontal translations um, for parent functions.